Hi, I'm Julie from The Techie Teacher, and today I'm going to demonstrate how you and your students can easily create and randomize digital flashcards using Google Slides. And there are a lot of different programs out there, Quizlet being a big one, that will do something similar. This is just a very easy alternative. So what it looks like, you could use Google Slides on iPads, laptops, Chromebooks, computers. So anything that supports Google Slides these flashcards could be created and used on. Uh, in this case, I created multiplication flashcards, but students or teachers could create sight word flashcards, vocabulary flashcards, so just any type of information the students are learning and need to remember, they can turn into a slide deck, important dates, whatever it is, it can be done in Google Slides. And in this case, I have this set up so when I click or tap on the slide, it will animate the answer. So then I can tap again, the student can say the answer out loud, and then they can self-check by clicking or tapping. So today we're going to take a look at not only how we can create these animated text boxes in Google Slides, but how we can randomize these slide decks so the students are given a different experience every time the presentation is launched. So here's the same exact presentation that I displayed on my iPad, but now I am on my laptop. We are going to take a look at how we can quickly reorganize these slides without having to manually click and drag them around. What you will need to do is install the add-on called Slides Randomizer. Just think of an add-on as another piece to the menu bar up here. And in order to install Slides Randomizer, you're going to need to be on a laptop computer or a Chromebook. Just Google Slides Randomizer, it will be the first thing that pops up in search, and when you click on it, you'll be brought to this screen, and you're gonna click the Install button that will appear right here. Once it says Installed, now, anytime you open up a Google Slides presentation and click on Add-ons, you will see Slides Randomizer appear. So let's go ahead and rearrange the slides on this presentation. I'm going to come here and click Randomize Presentation. I'll be prompted with the question, would you like to keep slide one as the title slide, meaning it will not be rearranged with the other slides. In this case, I don't have a title slide, so I'm going to click No. And then once this other message pops up and you click OK, look over here on the left-hand side, you will see that all of those slides will have been shuffled around. Now, they have also been shuffled around on my iPad because anything in Google Slides happens in real time and that's the beauty of this. So you can make one presentation and pass it out to all of your students. Just change the share settings to anyone with the link can view and then they can practice these digital flashcards in their own time. And then only you would have to go to add-ons and slides randomizer to shuffle those uh, slides around and it will automatically update on their end as well. But if students are creating their own slide decks and they want to randomize the presentation, then they would have to install the add-on on their device. Uh, just keep in mind that some districts uh, prohibit add-ons to be added on student accounts. So just check, double check on that before you plan on having them use the slides randomizer. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how we can create these slides with an animated answer box. I'm in my drive to create a new slide deck. I'm gonna to go to new and go to Google Slides. And the first thing I always do is title my presentation. So maybe this time I will do addition facts. I'm gonna get rid of the themes menu and I always like to start with a fresh canvas. I just used regular text boxes to make my multiplication flashcards. So I'm gonna draw my text box, add my first fact, highlight it, center it, make it a little bit bigger, uh, change the font, but I'm not going to spend all day making this pretty. I'm also not gonna show how you can make backgrounds, change the slide size. Let's just keep this basic for time's sake. Now what I wanna take a look at is animating an answer box. As you can see here in the regular uh, flashcard presentation, the answer box is on this right now because the presentation is in editing mode. But when I press present here, you don't see it until I click. So click, there it goes. Click, I'm taken to the next slide. Click, and then it shows up. So that is what we want to accomplish over here. You could do this by adding just another text box or you can add a shape. 
So I wanna just do the rectangular shape, go anywhere on your slide to add it. You can come up here to the paint can and choose a different color. And within the shape, I can double click and type. So I'm gonna do answer. I'm gonna put that in the middle and then add my answer underneath, but I might make my answer a lot bigger than the word answer. So there we have it. Now to animate that box, you're gonna click on it. You're gonna come up here to insert and come down to animation, and this menu will pop up on the right-hand side. Right now, that box has already been animated since we clicked on this. You'll see it says fade in and on click. We always wanna keep it on click, but if you wanna change the animation, you can click on this drop-down arrow. The only thing you have to remember is to choose an animation in which the answer will come into the presentation. You do not want it to leave the presentation or else it's going to appear as soon as you see that slide. So appear would work, disappear would not. Fade in would work, fade out would not. I'm going to do fly in from top just to show you what that looks like. As soon as I've clicked it, it has applied it to that answer box and I can press present. You don't see the answer box. I'm gonna click, click, and there you have it. So to make your next slide, instead of just adding a blank slide, what I like to do is duplicate this slide. So I'm gonna do Command D on my computer. You could also just go to Edit Duplicate. And then now all I have to do is edit my fact and the answer and the animation has already been applied to the answer box. So I don't have to go through the insert animation sequence again, it's already there. But if you want a different type of animation, then you would have to go through that sequence again.